Hello everybody, and welcome back to Snowball Saves Christmas, the Let's Play. And we just, last time we made it to this block of ice here. And we're gonna see what happens when we hit it. So, hey, look at that, it moves. And we can push this block of ice to get up this ledge here. Ta-da! So, pretty simple, but we're going to show some uh, more complicated uses for this block of ice in a little bit here. Now, we might want to go forward a bit, but then we realize we can't really make it up here at all. We're not even close to being able to make it up there. But we can get up here. So let's go this way and see what is up here. Let's see what we find this way. Look at that, it's a block of ice. Now, you might be wondering what happens if we push this block of ice down here. So let's let's try it out. And as you can see, that was just a bottomless pit, and uh, the block of ice respawns if you tr if you uh, throw it off the ledge. Just like when you throw yourself off the ledge, you respawn. At least in this game. So. Um, we can push this block this way instead of the other way. Maybe there'll be a better outcome. We can continue pushing. And if we really want to be, uh, you know, curious about what we're going to do here, we can see what happens if we push the block into a corner like this. But I made that corner that way so that it just doesn't get stuck back there. Because, again, there's just so many... So many different possibilities to consider when you have a physics game. Which I think is pretty fun. You know, it's just fun being able to see all the different ways that people can play this game. So, if, if you're watching this Let's Play and you think, Oh, well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't play this game because he's already played it. I mean, he's the developer, he's already played it. That doesn't matter, because your experience of the game is going to be very different from mine. Uh, you definitely won't start out being as... Uh, as good at the game as I am because I've I have made the game I know how it works inside and out and I've tested it a number of times but uh, so you'll die quite a lot more than I am in this let's play but you'll also get to experience a bunch of fun uh, wacky physics stuff that is mostly due to chance so I've tried a number of times just to like launch myself up here this way without the block of ice yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not possible, but if you can figure out a way to get up there, that would be pretty cool. Um, so, and it's not supposed to be possible, but you never know. If you can find a secret way to do something, I'm all for it. You know, play the game that you want to play it. You know, as long as you have fun with it, that's fine. So, as usual, we have our block of ice up here. And so we want to push it this way. But the problem that we're going to find out is there are some obvious holes in our plan. Um, and by that I mean we have actual holes in the ground that we need to deal with. So we got to be careful or else our block is going to fall. Or we're going to fall. So let's just give it a few pushes. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> That's okay, though. Um, that's not too bad. Except for the fact that I don't want to push it that way. There we go. Let's line up our shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, we're good. So we can just push it off this way. And it's lined up with the corner now. We can go up. Go up. And the candy cane. Now here's another puzzle with this uh, with these blocks. We've got a little gap here. And we also have a wall here. And as you can tell from the opening cutscene, we've got a candy cane up there. So the question is how do we get up that far? We how do we get that height? And I don't I don't really think 
a single one of these is gonna get us up that high. So let's just push it this way. I mean, the level name says fill the gap, so I guess we should start off by filling the gap. Um, but that didn't really do much for us. Maybe push it that way just so it fits a little better. But that didn't really do anything. So let's just keep going. And hey, it's another ice block. <laughs> if we could get up there, that'd be that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Uh, okay, so we can get up here. This is a little dangerous. Now there's a little bit of a risk involved getting this ice block down, but we got it. And we're gonna come down with it. And we can fill it on the gap as well. So, hey, there you go. Now they fit. And we have filled the gap, but we still don't have a way up to the top. So let's see what else is this way. And oh, look. Check that out. We have a huge ice block right there. And I would bet... <laughs> I would bet if we brought this thing down pushed it over that gap that we just filled. And you know what? I bet we'd get enough height to get up to that candy cane. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's push it over. Just be careful not to push it too far. Come on, tip it over. There we go. Alright. So here we are. And... There we go. Got it. This level. Ice delivery. This this level this level causes trouble for a lot of people, and you'll see why probably in a minute here. So we need to push this block onto that moving platform. So let's, let's be careful about this. Um, so one thing about these platforms is that you can't really you can't really move on them while they're going down, but you can while they're going up. So let's push that over, and there it goes. So when you go down, you're just kind of stuck. You just have to wait it out. But, in the meantime... Ah, can't do that. If it's going up, then that's okay. Whoa. Whoa. Now we're gonna wait this out. Line it up, and we overshot. Okay, let's try that again. That was. <laughs> see now, now you see what I'm talking about. This level is known among my beta testers for not being a very easy one. So. First, we gotta knock this back on here. And we did that. Let's let's go for it. Uh, <laughs> where did it end up? Probably nowhere good. Oh no, it's there. Okay, so now we need to get on the platform, <laughs> and it just kind of hops, but that's okay. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Great, except we're gonna die, but the cube is still on the platform even when we die. And so that's why that's why I did that, because it's really annoying if that would have to get reset back there. So Because I know people are gonna die a lot on this stage. Oh no, like just like that. <laughs> just like that, people are gonna die a lot, and it would be really annoying to have to bring that uh, block of ice back every single time. So, now we're just gonna try and take it a little slow. And 
now here's here's the really tough part is getting it from one to the other hopefully that works okay good so that doesn't always work so nicely <laughs> and we can go down there hopefully we'll land we landed so one last hit and we should be able to do it perfect that thing makes me a little nervous but that little icicle jutting out but that's okay because we should be able to get this going and we're on the ledge and one more hit no one more hit we'll be up there got it <laughs> oh wow uh I don't know if you heard that, but there was a little audio, little audio glitch there with the sound effects. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're gonna have to hit this thing out of the pillar there. And now it becomes a platform for us to stand on. This level is titled "Break the Ice" because, well, you kind of have to push the ice and just get it out of your way. And for a while I had it set up a little bit differently, but then I changed the snowball physics around a little bit. See, that's another thing, is when you're making a game like this, if you make one adjustment to the physics, it can throw every single level off. So I had to be careful about that. So now we have these little guys right here. Hehehe. <laughs> Lots and lots of little, lots and lots of little sound effects are there. I think one of the last things that I added into the game was sound effects for all of the ice blocks. So maybe that's something that could be fixed. But anyway, 